yeah, I'm in my studio today and um, kind of looking around. I've got a lot of things to work on all around me. And uh, sometimes, and you may have experiences too, I walk into my studio and I'm kind of stumped or I'm not loosened up or I'm not really sure where I'm going with a painting and how I'd even get started. But I do find something that always helps me and I just want to share that with you and if you already do it, fantastic, you know what I'm talking about. If you used to do it and you don't do it anymore, this might just jog you to get back into it. And uh, what I'm talking about is art journaling. And like anything, like exercising, you need to warm up first. Well, oftentimes with painting, I need to warm up first. I need to get the, the hands moving, the body moving, my thought moving, my paint moving around on a canvas, just to kind of warm up and see where I wanna go. So um, my remedy for that has always been art journals. So I'm going to share some of my art journals with you just to kind of give you some ideas. They're so individual. Everybody does it a different way. But what I just want to impress is do it. Do your art journal. It's just fun. It's the playground. It's where you get to do stuff that nobody else gets to see unless you want them to. And you can just play. Just play. My best paintings always turn out because I played first and I continue that play onto the canvas. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the journaling and um, I hope you do it yourself. That'd be really awesome. So uh, take a look and see what I got for you. Okay, so here I am in my studio at my work table. I have a 10 foot work table in here that um, is kind of the hub of my studio. But sometimes I just don't feel like doing work on a canvas. Uh, there could be a lot of reasons for this. Uh, maybe I'm not inspired. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just not feeling it. But I have something creative in me that I kind of want to get out. Um, and so I work on my art journals. Um, I have journals that are for different things and on this very long table I keep them at one end opened up um, so not all of them opened up at once but available for me to open them up and either look for inspiration within or have a blank page I can add things to to try some marks to add some papers um, I've always got scraps of papers on my table that I just leave in a little pile for when I'm feeling like I, I just need to uh, get some creativity out. So that's uh, what is behind all my journals. And every artist does them different. Um, I never get tired of looking at journals that other artists have done just because it gives me some ideas and gets the juices flowing. So I'm going to share a couple of my journals with you, but most of all, I want to just tell you that my journals are my happy place. When no matter what's going on, if I'm stuck in my art, if I don't know where I'm going or I'm not inspired, I always find something I can do in my journal because it's that it doesn't really count. It's just me playing. It's just being able to have somewhere to play. So let me show you a couple of my different journals. This is one that I just picked up recently when I was in Tucson. It was, I was looking for something that I could do some quick things in. It was on sale at the Tucson Museum of Art. So I always just add stuff to the beginning of, on the cover to personalize it. And this journal, whereas a lot of my journals have a spiral, this is a bound books, which is kind of nice because I can play with things going all the way across the page. I've just started this journal and these pages are complete or not. I can come back and add to them. But it's just a place for me to kind of add things in and, and get the ball rolling, get the juices flowing. So if you're looking for a journal, if you're not 
If you're not somebody who has one already, keep that in mind. You can go all the way across the page if you have a book that is uh, bound like this. Here's another one with a book, uh, bound book. And this is actually an old, let me see, titled the, A Loving Wife. I think I've actually used this before in one of my videos because it's been an ongoing journal for a long, long time. And it's just a place where I play. Um, I take pages, I take three or four pages and glue them together, together to make it a little stronger. And it just, paint, papers, whatever I'm feeling. Um, there's a lot of collage going on in this that I then go around and, and paint around. I fold my pages. I use these little deli sheets to go lay in between my pages. A lot of times the pages get stuck together because I'm using acrylic paints. Um, it's re they're really fun. They're just really fun. And again, the, the bound books give you the opportunity to go all the way across the page. So I won't go through every page in this journal. Um, a lot of times what I'll do to set pages up is I'll go in and use black gesso, or you could use black paint, and go around and let some of the words pop through. And, and I've done that quite a bit, just for the, um, the text. But I still have room to go in this, in this journal. Then I have different journals for different things. I think, I believe this one is to Play with color combinations, like this page is all about gray. Here we have more of the colors that I use a lot of. I use a lot of orange and, and aquas. Um, so this was kind of playing with those colors, along with styles that I like. Um, you, you've probably either seen me in these shoes or seen these shoes in a lot of the photos that I take of my artwork. Um, and in, in this journal, I also, for those of you who do jelly plates, um, when you're using your brayer on your jelly plate, I clean my brayer off on, on my journal pages. That way, I've always got pages set up that I can use the backgrounds. And in this color combination of the uh, red, orange, and the lime, more of a lime green, I've used the backgrounds uh, from my jelly plate that inspired these colors. So I use these as backgrounds just to set up quite often. Here's one that is coral and green. And, and it's just a great way to play with color combinations to see what might, what, what you like. Cause you know, look how great that is. I, I still haven't done this one with the dark um, raw umber and these really rich, rich, uh, colorful pieces. And so that's that's what this book is turned out to be. And, and some of the pages I'm still working on. Um, and it's a book in progress. So we've got that one. This is more just, um, I've tried some stenciling, some release stenciling in here. Again, I'm always thinking of color combinations that I like. Um, just little design ideas. And, and this book was about creating, um, uh, the magic of creating. And it, it just kind of swirls along. And each page ha has different different messages along with some some pictures of, of artwork that I've done and it just kind of continues along like a little storybook and this is actually a page I did just last night which has got me thinking about why I wanted to talk about journaling um, I did this page several months ago and it's actually you know, a piece of paper cut as a window pane looking into this. And I wanted to do something on this page that went with it. 
but what? I didn't have any of these elements, but what I did have is a box of color chips. So I just matched up the colors really generally because I didn't have enough of these colors in my, my uh, box of color chips, but I just made a page that kind of repeated these colors with just torn up papers. And that, that was so much fun and relaxing. And I think I just watched a couple YouTube videos while I was working on it. It was really nice. And then I created just a fun little cat page. So that's as far as this book has gone. And I'm still working on that. This is one that has been ongoing for several years. Um, I, I'm not even gonna show you all the things that are in here, but it's kind of fun to just, um, you get lost in them. I, I love my journals. Whenever I get a little down, a little blue, a little confused on where my artwork is going or getting frustrated with the business of doing art, I know this is my happy place. This is where I can just play, be quiet in my studio, um, and, and have fun. Things that I might not ever put on a canvas. I don't do hearts a lot. Um, this little face is kind of fun, but they can go in my journal, um, in my art journal. So there's that guy and he's, this was just a journal I picked up in a thrift store and it had lined pages, but that works for me. I just can't close this guy anymore. And uh, one of my favorites, this is one of my most recent that I've started on a little larger scale and had some fun and I started this journal in a actually a workshop with my friend um, and artist Zuz Susie Zoll and um, we, we created some really fun pages. Uh, I've, I've posted these pages separately on my Instagram before and they have you know actual fabric where I've stitched and and played with that and this is actually my favorite page I can definitely see that becoming a, a larger piece so out of your journals comes some fun things to work on um, you might know that I've been crazy about cyanotypes lately so bits and pieces of that went in there this is uh, pages that I have set up with just some paper I had laying around I need to get back to that um, I don't work in order, this page, this page, the next page. I just work as, you know, as I'm, I'm feeling it. I still need to do a page that, that is going to work together with this. Um, these I just finished, and this has some of my cyanotypes, and it also has um, some collage and inks and uh, papers and paint added in here. So I was pretty happy with how they turned out. As a matter of fact, I love these two a lot and am investigating how to make them into a larger painting. And I just finished this page. Um, and this was just all about this, these bottles. The whole page was covered with that. And I just went in with a cream paint and, and paint it around the things that I wanted to stand out. So this is a work in progress. They are all works in progress. And my latest thing that, that's sitting on my table that I'm working on are these kids' boards book, board books. They are so fun. I've just started this one and I've only got as far as the cover. I did some Venetian plaster and put some paper that I, I made. But I found this little mini book that I, I've already covered in papers. Who knows what I'm gonna do with it? it, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're enjoying the process. You're enjoying the escape. Um, your journals are for you. You typically are not going to sell them. So that takes that worry, that thought off your mind. You, you can just have fun, have fun in your journals. 
I highly, highly recommend it. And these are, are really good. Uh, I think these are um, Canson uh, mixed media books, the spiral pages. Um, like I said, a journal from a sale bin, an old book, um, a notebook that I got out of a thrift store, and kids journal, kids boards books I got out of a neighborhood, one of those little neighborhood um, box libraries. So I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to inspire is play in your journals. Um, don't get so caught up in the business of doing art, in the art that you need to be creating, and the pressure that you might feel to do both of those things. This gives you a great place to play. Just play and have fun and see what comes of it. Because very often I have done journal pages that do turn into paintings that I, I take it onto a canvas. So um, that's all I got for you this week. And uh, I'm seeing these little kitties out of my uh, corner of my eye. I think they're going to have to go in because I'm going to play with my journals this afternoon. So if you get a chance to do it, please do. And please, as always, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I really appreciate that. I'm going to add a link to uh, the other video I did about journals. I know I've done one in the past, so I'll just re-link re that. And um, thank you so much for following me along and seeing what I'm up to in my studio. It's always something a little different. I never really have a plan. I just, what's ever on my mind, that's what I'm going to talk about. So thank you for being here. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really, really appreciate that. And I'll be back soon. See you in the studio. Bye-bye.